This is the Rhino Rack Hitch. It's two hitch bike rack. As you can see, it's RBC045 is the item number. I don't remember exactly what it was called when I bought it. And I'm having regrets that I bought it. It's got a couple of nice features. The one is when, I guess you could see this, when you tighten this bolt, this bolt right here, there's a block inside and it, it rises up. So as you can see, when it's not tight, you know, you can wobble the thing. But when you tighten it up, that block rises up and it stops it from wobbling. It makes it nice and secure. That's pretty cool. The downside is I don't see how you can lock this because this hole does not go completely through and there's not two holes in the hitch itself. So anybody with a three quarter wrench can take your hitch. That's not very settling if you're gonna go somewhere and ride your bikes far away if you can't lock your hitch and you come back to your car and your hitch is gone, that would suck. So I'm not too crazy about that. Um, a nice feature they have is this, this cam this, this pin here lets you lower the hitch, so if you have a hatchback car, you can get in the car. And um, that seems pretty secure, that lock up. This up here also, as you see, you can fold this down, you know, when you're not using it. I don't know who would leave a hitch on your car like this all the time, unless you rode your bike like several times a week, or use it to commute or whatever, I don't know, but it's nice that it folds. But, I mean, the fact that I can't lock it, that's, that's, man, I should have done more research, I guess. The next problem is, these newer bikes don't have top tubes that go straight across. Almost all the newer bikes have some kind of weird frame geometry. They don't fit right on these bike carriers like this. It's, I've been playing with this now for 45 minutes and tried every conceivable way to hang these bikes. And they don't hang right. You're supposed to have them, the way they show it in the picture, this is supposed to be here, but it's tapered in, as you can see. So, because you're supposed to go around here with one, over top with one, over top, they give you six of these rubber straps. These spin, so you can angle them however best fits your bike, but... With this tire, with this like this, which is about the best way that I can get it, and you have this, you have to swap them so that one's one way and one's the other, and it just doesn't, it doesn't go right because it's jacking my, it's jacking the back tire up so high that it's starting to hit the levers on the first bike. And you can't really, can't really back it up. Now, see how that's unbalanced? This, this should be here. This, this front end wants to lift. It's just not right. It's not right. Very disappointed. I should have, I should have done more research. But if you're looking at bike racks, maybe even this type or this model, take into consideration these issues because I don't know if I can send this back or not, but this just is not, it's not going to fit right. And here I have one brand new bike and one fairly new bike, and I don't want them getting all scratched up. You know, it's possible that this could hit, you know, I don't see what's going to keep these from swinging when you're, when you're going down the road. Um, they do, there is a lot of movement that you get, but... Nobody wants their frame banged up. So, if you're looking at the hang type carriers, you know, hopefully this will help somebody else because this is not going to work for me. Very disappointed. Very disappointed.